Alright, so this is a quick video for Longevity-Inc.com. This is showing you how to set up their TIG Weld 200 uh, for either TIG or stick welding. Um, first you'll see uh, the two main uh, po uh, negative and positive uh, ports for the DINS connectors. Then you're going to see a gas outlet that's a quick disconnect. Then you're going to see a control for the button um, on the TIG torch to start the arc. And that's a two pin um, connector. And so basically, I'm going to start off with attaching the torch. It really doesn't matter if you do the ground or the torch first, but uh, based on the electrode you're running, you're going to choose uh, whether it's uh, DCEP or DCEN. That's a DC electrode positive or electrode negative. Um, I use electrode negative. Let's hook up that. Then you have your quick disconnect to your uh, argon gas here. You're just going to push it right into the gas outlet, and it'll click right in. Make sure it's secure. Then your two pin control here, just going to put it straight in and then just tighten down a little fastener. Now all you got to do is hook up your ground and that's just by simply hooking up the uh, male DINS connector into the positive lead and tighten it up and you're ready to go. On the back of the machine there's a small quick disconnect it hooks up to your argon gas. All you would do is hook that up to your flow meter, as you can see in the back, uh, through a hose. And um, then just set your flow rate to what you need, to the size cup you're using, and what application you're using. Then turn on your gas and you can start welding. Now, if you wanted to change over to stick welding, all you'd have to do is undo the control. By loosening it and just pulling it out. Then you would release the quick disconnect by pushing the outside ring towards the machine and it'll just pop right out. And you just undo the male um, dense connector. And uh, also you got to look at well, what you're going to run. Um, what It really doesn't matter like what rod. Well, it depends on what rod you're using but whether you use positive or negative for your um, electrode and stuff. I, li I generally like to use uh, DCEP for that and you would just hook up the nits connectors and that's all you do for uh, stick welding and then also you'd make sure that your machine is set to stick welding um, before you'd have it set on TIG like that so you have it on uh, TIG make sure it's DC 2T and um, that's uh, pretty much it then you just control your amperage and uh, you're ready to weld there